A year ago, when we first heard the Switch was announced, when we first found out what this thing was going to be, none of us had any idea of what 2017 had in store. From Breath of the Wild to Mario Odyssey to huge surprises like Doom and Skyrim, games like Mario and Rabbids coming out of nowhere and being freaking awesome, a sequel to Splatoon, the surprises just kept on coming. Thanks to Nintendo, 2017 easily became one of my favorite years in gaming. But now that the first year is out of the way, which is usually the rough patch for a console launch, what can we expect from this system in 2018? What kind of surprises are we gonna wake up to each morning? What kind of surprises are we gonna hear at the Nintendo Direct this month, let alone for the rest of the year? But right now, as it stands, there is a ton of games coming to the Switch in 2018 that we already know about. And I have picked 15, just a small, measly 15 that I am really excited for. And that is the topic of today's video. And really quick before we get stuck into this, because once I get going, I'm a get going, I just want to say thank you for 2017. It was an amazing year. This channel saw growth beyond my expectations. My channel surprised me as much as Nintendo did. And that was thanks to you guys. And I can't say thank you enough to everyone that subscribes, everyone that supports me on Patreon, everyone that just supports the channel by watching all the videos that I make. And oh, there was a lot of them in 2017. But mushing this aside, let's get manly and talk about some Nintendo games. Oh, by the way, please ignore the fact that I sound blocked up and sick. I've been sick for about a week now. That's why there hasn't been a video in a while. I apologize for that. We're just going to have to <sighs> grin and bear it. The first game I want to talk about, and I know I've talked about it recently on the channel, so I'm going to keep it short, but I am so excited for Bayonetta 3. I had no doubt they were going to continue this series. It's an amazing series. I love it so much, and so many people love it. I know people bought the Wii U just to play the second Bayonetta. <laughs> and there's a lot more reason to pick up the Switch, so I don't doubt that continuing this franchise, continuing this series is a great move for Nintendo. Getting people to buy the Switch just for Bayonetta, rope them in with her hair, and keep them in with Mario Kart and Zelda and whatever else they want to play. And we're getting the first two in a double pack on the Switch too, so it's just Bayonetta City, and I'm really excited for all of that. All right, let's get one of the big IPs out of the way, and that is Kirby Star Allies is coming to the Switch this year. It's set to release in spring, but according to some sources, it might release in June. For a Kirby game, this one looks very traditional with old school move sets and copy abilities. In this game, you can throw a heart item and turn enemies into allies. You can have up to three allies at any time, and they are CPU controlled, but you can have four people play this game with one person playing each of the characters. For me, this game gives off a lot of Kirby 64 vibes and I'm really excited to jump back into a traditional Kirby game and the ability to play with three other players too. I love getting co-op games on Nintendo systems. That's what Nintendo has always been about. So having this 64 co-op experience almost with Kirby Star Allies, I'm excited to pick it up for sure. And very similar to that, we have a new Yoshi game coming at some point in 2018 and again, it's very traditional. It's very old school Yoshi looking. The twist this time around seems to be the depth of field in the levels, meaning unlike most traditional platformers, you can go further back into the level or come further forward. Also, you can flip the perspective of the levels and explore from the opposite field of view. To me, looking at the trailers for this game, it looks like an interesting mix of a Yoshi game and a Paper Mario game and a little Big Planet game. That's the vibe I'm getting from it. I've never been huge in the Yoshi games. They were never exactly my favorites, but they are my girlfriend's absolute favorite games. So I'm sure I'll be picking this up for her and we'll end up playing it co-op and I'm excited to do that. Next we have the Monster Boy and Wonder Boy duo, which is the Wonder Boy game Dragon's Trap that was released on the Switch and other systems earlier 2017. I forgot what year I was in for a second. That's finally getting a physical release on the Switch this year. And I'm really happy about that because I've been holding off for buying it on the eShop because I heard rumors and I had a feeling that it was going to come physical and... Here it is, an amazing game and I really like it. And this year we're getting a spiritual successor to that Wonder Boy remake, and that is Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom. So both of those are dropping this year and I'm very, very excited. Payday 2 is another one of those surprises I was talking about that we didn't expect last year. I was sitting down watching a Nintendo Direct, I can't remember which one, and it was all pretty above board. There wasn't really anything too shocking. And then right in the middle there was, oh, and Payday 2 is coming to the Switch. It struck me as something that was really weird. I, Payday 2 on the Switch, I, okay. 
out of all the things I thought would get ported, that wasn't one. But the idea of having that game, a co-op game like that on the Switch, definitely excited me. There's a few online games for the Switch now, like Rocket League and Doom. A lot of multiplayer type games, but nothing with this level of cooperative play. So it was supposed to be out 2017, I'm pretty sure. It was pushed back to this year with the release date of around winter. This version of Payday 2 is set to have something special in it just for the Switch, but we don't know what that is yet. We're going to have to wait and see. I'm glad they're taking the time to refine this and making sure that it works right. We don't want something like WWE 2K18 out of this game. I want this to actually work and run really well. It's something that I could really easily stream online with people like Sean and Eric and have a lot of fun both with them and with you guys watching. So I really want this to do well. I know it's kind of gross but I'm really like mucusy and I'm starting to struggle. I, I wanted to film this yesterday but I felt too sick. I didn't want to wait anymore. The next game on my list which has a release date of February 13th, one day before Valentine's Day, Owl Boy. This is a beautiful looking game with fantastic music and sound design. I'm very excited to try this game out for the first time. I've heard a lot of great things. The sprite work alone has me wanting to dive into the game. So the game that's initially dropping is digital only, but they have announced the physical is coming, but with no release date yet, and also no confirmation of it being on the Switch in physical. But if you're looking for a nice, cheap little Valentine's Day present for your significant other, then Owl Boy. February 13th. It, I think it looks really fun. Let's dive in to RPG territory. I love being in here. Lost Sphere. This game I'm so excited for. It's a spiritual successor to I Am Setsuna, made by Tokyo RPG Factory and put out by Square Enix. I talked about this game before in a video that was titled 10 Great RPGs Coming to the Switch. So if you want to check out a closer look to that game, there'll be a link in the description to that video and also annotate it at the end of this video so you can click and keep watching my videos, which would be awesome if you did that anyway. But yeah, I am really excited for this game. The hype is real. My body cannot be any more ready. Give it to me, Nintendo. Give it to me, Reggie. I'm ready. I'm ready, Reggie. And speaking of Square Enix RPGs, another one that I talked about in that 10 RPGs that are coming soon video, Octopath Traveler. This game also looks amazing. A lot of us got to play a demo of this game on the Switch a few months back. And if you played it, you are probably as excited as I am. There are eight different characters you can play as, and depending on which one you pick, they each have different traits, which gives them their own different ways of completing the missions. So you can replay the game with different characters and have different outcomes, things like that. It's a really interesting game. It, I, 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 I'm excited for that game. My sickness is settling in and my energy is fading. Let's keep going. Let's do this. I'm almost there. 30 years of Street Fighter will fall into your hands this year in May. Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting, Street Fighter 2 The New Challenges, Street Fighter 2 Turbo Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter Alpha 2, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Street Fighter 3, Street Fighter 3 Second Impact Giant Attack, and Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Holy damn. That is a lot of Street Fighters. I feel like maybe that's a few too many Street Fighters, considering they're all very similar. But for a Street Fighter fan, this is Street Fighter Gold. How many times have I just said Street Fighter? Also, they've picked four of these games and they've given them online play. So again, if you're a Street Fighter fan, this is the place to be. There's a lot more I could say, but I'm gonna move along before I have to say the SF word again. Nintendo has done a really good job at keeping the new Fire Emblem under complete wraps. We know nothing about it from a release date to what it looks like to how it's gonna play. The only thing I believe that we even have a rumor of is that they're really looking to shake this Fire Emblem game upside down, which seems to be what they're just doing this year in general. They shook Zelda up on its head. They mixed up Mario and did something new and innovating. They're trying a lot of new and innovating things on the system and with their games in general. So I'm not surprised to hear that this game is also being shaken up. They're trying something different with the battle system, I've heard. Interested to see how this turns out. And again, we know nothing about it. It's supposed to land this year. Who knows if it gets pushed back? I definitely think they are gonna try and get it out this year. And it's definitely gonna get people on board with the system early this year in anticipation for that. Bloodstain Ritual of the Night is supposed to release in March. It got pushed back a little bit. It was a Kickstarter game that I think raised about 5.5 million. The former producer of the Castlevania series is working on this game and it's a spiritual successor to the Castlevania games. So of course, I'm excited, and of course, my body is ready. I, essentially, a new Castlevania game is landing on the Switch in March, so, I mean, yeah. If you don't know yet, let me be the first to tell you I'm very excited about a new Toe Jam and Earl game coming to the Switch this year. 
If you aren't familiar with the Toe Jam and L franchise, it's something that started back on the Sega Genesis or the Sega Mega Drive. <laughs> That's right, I said Sega Mega Drive. And it's had a few different games in the series at this point, and they've all been very different styles of games. But this new one is very reminiscent and pretty much exactly the same as the first one, which I personally believe to be the best one. This, the first one had something about it that was very unique and I haven't really seen again in a video game. It'll be really cool to pick up my Switch and play a Toe Jam and Earl game again, just just like back in 1991 or for me when I was growing up it would have been more like 1998-99 but speaking of old games making a comeback and also speaking of 30th anniversaries we have Mega Man 11 coming later this year a brand new Mega Man game from Capcom pinch me I must be dreaming while I personally I'm not completely sold on the graphic style they went for it's fine it's really the gameplay that matters anyway and it does look like it's going to be a return to form old school Mega Man game kind of surprising because Capcom almost seemed to not want anything to do with Mega Man anymore and now here we are a lot of these companies are finally realizing what's gonna make them money and Capcom has decided all right, we'll make a new Mega Man game. So later this year on the Switch, oh, you bet I'm ready. Wolfenstein 2 has already launched on all the other systems, but at some point this year, we're going to get it on Switch. How is it going to run on Switch? I'm hoping it runs the same as Doom, but Doom was released in 2016, whereas this was released very recently. Can the Switch handle this? It's taking a while to get this port out, so maybe they're struggling to put it over. Only time will tell. I'm pretty sure myself, because I haven't played the game yet, I'll still play it on PS4 for the first time, just because I really enjoyed that game and I want to have it on my TV in 60 frames, 1080p and all of that jazz. But I don't know, maybe the Switch version will blow me away. Maybe it'll be so awesome that I won't be able to help myself but to play it portable the first time. Only time will tell and I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping that this does well because then every single thing that Bethesda's put over would have been an amazing port and that is really awesome and what the Switch needs. Now a couple of things that don't have release dates that maybe we'll see in 2018 but I, I personally don't think so is a new Tales of game. There is going to be an exclusive Tales of something game on the Switch and we know pretty much nothing about it other than a rumored 2018 release but I, I'm again I think it's still in development, so we'll see. And same goes for Metroid Prime 4. Some people think we're gonna see it this year. I don't think so. I think it's gonna be 2019 at the earliest, maybe even 2020. But then again, Nintendo is a very surprising company, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. But something that has really strong rumors of coming out either December this year or very early next year is a new Pokemon RPG game for the Switch. Here's a few things that we know about this game so far. One, there is a Nintendo Direct this month and possibly, hopefully, it's going to give us some more answers onto what this game is going to end up being. The biggest rumors right now are saying the battle system is going to be changed up to a real-time battle system. It's being compared to something like Digimon World. And if you think about Pokémon Tournament, I wouldn't be surprised if even back when that game was made, if it was almost a testing ground as to a new battle system in Pokémon how people would take to a real-time battle system in the Pokemon universe. I think it's definitely time for a change in Pokemon. We've had a very similar battle system for the last 20 years. We're moving to a home console. It's the first time a Pokemon, a big Pokemon RPG has been on a home console since GameCube era. And I think it is time. I've, always, I've been an advocate for the longest time of having an open world RPG Pokemon game with real-time battles, real-time finding the Pokemon in the wild, seeing it there, walking up and battling. And while I don't think this game's going to be that in-depth, I don't think it's going to be the Skyrim Pokemon game that I've always wanted, but again, we've seen Zelda turned upside down. We've seen Fire Emblem rumors saying that that's going to be turned upside down. Mario was very innovative. I wouldn't be surprised, and I, I'm not going to be surprised. Real-time battle system and just a, a big mix-up, a real shaking it upside down on its head of a Pokemon game. But that is rumored for late this year maybe early next year the switch itself the system itself has been a combination of everything nintendo has ever done both in its systems and in its games all leading up to the nintendo switch and this year i know a lot of these games are cross-platform but on the switch 
You're going to have a new Castlevania almost. You're going to have a new Mega Man. You're going to have a new Toe Jam and Earl. And we've had a new Zelda. We've had a new Mario. We're getting a new Metroid Prime. We're getting a new Pokemon, a new Fire Emblem. We're getting everything. The Switch is going to have every single franchise that everyone has ever loved since the early 90s. It's crazy. I don't see any reason for any single gamer who's been a gamer for the last 20, 30 years to not want to pick up a Switch. There's going to be something for everyone, both new gamers with new IPs and old gamers that want to pick up the games they used to love. This is why the Switch is so exciting for me to keep making videos about because one week I can make a Switch video and literally be talking about Toe Jam and Earl in 2018. It's crazy, I started my channel as a retro channel, I am a retro gamer, I've loved old games my whole life, and I get to stand here now in 2017, 2018 and talk about Castlevania, talk about Street Fighter, it just seems like that's never gonna end, and it makes me so happy, the Switch makes me so happy, it's kinda silly. But you get, I hope you get it. But guys, that's all from me from today. That's my excitement. That's about 15 games that are coming this year for the Switch. Which ones did I miss that you're really excited for? Let me know down below. Like this video because it really helps. Subscribe because of course that really helps. Something I don't talk about much is you can touch that little bell. You can touch my bell and get notified of every single video I make so you don't miss out. I have an exclusive limited time only Zelda shirt, which I think at this point is only about four days left, five days left, something like that. So if you want to pick that up and share my love of Zeldies and rock my hair and my beard on your on your chest on your chesticles this is a chance to do that and that as well really helps me out and really helps the show grow I'm done I can't talk anymore I feel like I have to go blow my nose 17 times I love you all I hope you all have a fantastic 2018 I'll see you in the very next video and I'll see you all throughout the year yeah that's that's I, that's a good way to end the video this isn't this has gone, I, I had a good way, it, and it would have had a really nice ending if I didn't end it here.